most recognizable voices in Connecticut broadcasting has been silent for most of 2019. Channel 3 former business editor Jim Weisvich has been off his popular radio show as he battles a disease he's had actually for decades. But Jim is vowing to come back. Dennis House has more on his struggle as he received treatment at the hospital. Now these changes to most Americans may not seem like much, but to people who live in the Soviet Union they mean a great deal. He was Connecticut's preeminent business reporter. Jim Vicevich was the money man from the 1970s to the 1990s, covering the business of auto shows. Talk to most people at this particular auto show and they'll tell you, yeah, they're interested, maybe, if the price is right. The Hartford Whalers. But off the ice, they've never made a profit. Even Donald Trump. Trump, the game would be just as successful. We knew Jim had a command of the Connecticut corporate and financial world like no one else. But what we didn't know then was he was diagnosed with a life-altering awful disease in 1992 while breaking all those stories at Channel 3. He remembers the day vividly. He just uh, given me a blood test and I was in the examination room and the nurse came in and said, the doctors would like to see you in their office. And I went, oh, that's not a good sign. It certainly wasn't. The then 40-year-old was told he had an autoimmune disease. Jim's immune system was attacking his own tissues and own organs. Well, Jim, you have lupus. I went, oh, big deal, what the heck is lupus? Jim's lupus has impacted his ability to walk, talk, and see. And it's grown worse over the years, and it hurts a lot. Rock Bottom came in January when he suffered a debilitating stroke. Those with lupus are more susceptible to strokes. That was the low point. That was when I almost gave up. That was when it was so bad, I just wanted to just forget about it. What is the most difficult thing about going through this lupus battle? To be able to put up with a lot of pain every day and a lot of frustration. Painful. Every I'd day? Say it's difficult. There's pain every day? Yeah, uh, getting up in the morning, Jane helps me, helps me. She helps me get dressed. Jane is Jim's Czech-born fiance, by his side all the time. So you have a lot of living left. A lot. What's, you tell us what's in your future. Obviously, you wedding. What's in my future is a wedding and i um, looking forward to a life with Jane. As Jane said, stop concentrating on what could go wrong and start thinking about a life together, not a death together. I love her, so that drives me a lot. And I say, I haven't finished my mission here to talk about liberty and freedom. That's critical for me. Yes, the talk show, Sound Off Connecticut on WTIC AM. Jim misses it and plans on getting back on the air as soon as he's better. What do you need to do in terms of your health to get back on the air? I need to be able to carry on conversations for at least three hours. So do I have the strength and the stamina to do that? That's what I'm working on right now. Jane and I practice in front of the computer. Jane is always there for his treatments here at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford. He has an infusion of Rituxan, the strongest drug available for the management of lupus. When Jim comes here to St. Francis for these infusions, he's here much of the day, from 7 a.m. to 5 at night. And there is no end in sight for these treatments because there's no cure for lupus. He needs to do this uh, for life. It's actually um, very, very effective. My friend, you look good. You're the best. You look good and you're gonna make you know, it. You're gonna make say. it. I didn't treat Dennis very well when he first came on board. <laughs> Why? Because he was young and handsome and really, really talented. <laughs> and you know, the thing is, he's still young and handsome and still really, really talented. <laughs> I learned so much from you, my friend. I did. I, you were intimidating because you were so good. I, I didn't think I could make it at Channel 3 because of this guy. So how do you know if you're really getting a good deal? Well, retailers we talked with say you really should get to know a garment and get to know quality. Ask some questions. Number two, know how much you can afford and if the garment is worth that amount of money to you. And number three, they say you got to shop around. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jim Weisswitch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News on the business page. He's still got it. Jim's sister donated more than a million dollars to create the Weisswitch Family Lupus Center being planned for St. Francis. It'll be the only one of its kind in New England. And Mark and Denise, he is a legend, and he was kind of mean to all of us, but it was part of his charm, right, Denise? Oh, well, I used to call him the vociferous vice. We, his nickname was Vice because he would get so passionate and worked up about various things in the news. And uh, But what a good dad and yeah. a good person, and I'm so happy to see him yeah. positive and making plans for the future. A single dad who was remarkable. Yeah. Yes.